welcome to the how to series. Uh, this tutorial is going to show how to set up your half cut on the Scan and Cut DX. Uh, remember to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel and you'll see all my latest videos as I release them. Um, so we're on the Scan and Cut DX uh, SDX 2200D, the Disney model. So it may look a little different to yours, but they're all set up with the same sort of icons. So fairly easy to follow along. This is just the intro screen. So go to the home and it'll tell you that you're going to have your carriage move. It doesn't move very much in this version. And so we get presented with pattern and scan. So we'll go to pattern and add a pattern uh, or a shape. We'll just add a shape in this instance. So perhaps just a square. And you can change your square sizes. I'll do that in another video. Just say we just want to cut that out. So we can edit in that, but we're going to go OK for this video. And when you get to this screen here, it's a little bit different than the CM models where it was on the same screen. So this one we go, please select and we will go cut. And it will tell you that it's going to take a minute to cut. I've got my pressure on minus three, speed is on five and the half cut is off. This video is to show you how to change to half cuts. You just go into the little wrench or tool icon here. And you can see here, you can change your cut speed, cut pressure, cut pressure for if you've got a manual blade, so you can use your CM blade holders and blades in here, uh, how much it cuts. But if you scroll down, you'll see that half cut on or off. So if you want to turn it on, you just press that on button and at the moment it's got cut pressure is on auto for half cut but you can actually change that to more or less so what you would do is you would pop your vinyl on your mat and load it into your machine and then if once you've done a test cut I'll show you how to do a test cut next uh, once you've done a test cut then you would um, Decide whether you are happy with it. It only needs to go halfway through the vinyl and so that the backing paper is left intact. Same with uh, HTV so that the carrier sheet is left intact. So if it doesn't cut or doesn't cut enough, you can increase the pressure. So you just press the plus. Or if it's cutting too deep, which is often the case, I know my first cut on this machine was too deep. So I have to reduce the pressure and just take it down. I think I had mine on about minus three, but you would do another test cut at that point and make sure that it's at the right depth for your vinyl. Once you are used to your machine, you probably just know uh, these are fairly auto sensor. So uh, once, once you get an idea of what it's going to be, it, it should be roughly the same most times that you come in. So once you're happy with minus three or whatever selection uh, is there, you can also, I'll just point this out while we're in this video, that anything with the black border around it is the default setting. So you can always know what the default for the machine was by looking for that border. And we would go OK. And now you'll see that half cut is on. And you could do a test cut. So at the moment we've just got the square on there. I'm going to add a test. And you can see it highlighted just there. A little tiny test. It can be moved around the screen. There we go. Move it around the screen. Try and grab it. So it's on where your paper or your vinyl or whatever you're cutting is. And um, I usually have it to the right hand side or down a little bit just so it doesn't get in the way of the blade. So you can see that it is greyed out to start. So you'd load your mat. You can see it loading now. And you can see that the start button is now come active because the mat's in there. It knows the mat's in there now. And we will go, just might move that over so I don't use too much vinyl, a bit more. Move it over there a little bit more and go start. Okay. 
So it's done the test cut there. You can either take it out and you can try and do it on the mat, on the right in the machine so you can still see. Might be a bit more tricky than I thought. So now it's done. Oh yes, it's cut out reasonably well and it doesn't look like it's gone through to the next layer, which is what I wanted. So I can go ahead now and press. So if I wasn't happy with it, I would go test again, but I'm happy with that. So I'd just go start. Easy as that. And then uh, remember to take it off. If you're not, not use it, if you're using cardstock or that. For more, either my YouTube channel or createwithsue.com.